Yesterday's body count lottery rounded out to a solid and sturdy 30. 10 out of Haywood. Thanks to unabated gang wars. One officer down, so I guess you're all screwed. Because the NCPD will not let that go. Got another blackout in Santo Domingo. Netrunners are at it again, poking holes in the power grid. While over in Westbrook, trauma teams scraping cyber psycho victims off the pavement. And in Pacifica, well, Pacifica is still Pacifica. This has been your man, Stan. Join me for another day in our city of dreams. Hello and welcome everyone to Cyberpunk 2077. I'm so excited I can barely contain myself and I know that a lot of people feel that way because we all have been waiting for this game for quite a long time and I really think this is exactly what we need to get us through the last weeks of 2020 and probably <laughs> into the first month of 2021. So I'm just over the moon excited, super, super giddy because for those who know my channel and who know me a little bit, you guys know that I am a huge fan of the Witcher series of all three games, plus Thronebreaker. I love them all. I had a great time with all of them. So, so far, CD Projekt Red has never disappointed me with anything. Quite the opposite. It was usually always a pleasant surprise and fantastic games that I wish I could play again completely without any knowledge because they're that good. And now, get a new game from them completely new a new world new characters new stories a completely new approach and i i'm here for it i'm completely here for it and thank you for for joining me along this ride this series might be a little bit different than others on my channel just because i really want to get uh, myself immersed into the game and really get into the character really get into the world and everything that surrounds it so maybe i will take a step back a little bit here and there maybe i will be a little more quiet than usual just so we can all dive into the world and the happenings of cyberpunk 2077 same goes for uh, an upload schedule it i really don't want to play this game with any type of pressure or um anything like it i just want to want to enjoy it uh, a lot and whenever i get to play it i want to play it and when i get to upload things i get to upload things and maybe there are breaks in between maybe there will be plenty of videos maybe multiple a day maybe one a day maybe two or three a week i don't know but that is the joy of it and i don't really want to uh chit chat around too much and uh, talk too much nonsense before we jump in just a quick note if you enjoy this series if you enjoy this video Please give it a like. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Helps me out a whole bunch. We'll bring you more content in the future. And, you know, it pleases the YouTube algorithm gods. And we all know those are the most important around and they need to be pleased. So if you are so kind, please do that. That's it in terms of self-plugging. Now it's time to start a new game. A new game, Cyberpunk 2077. Couldn't be more excited. Let's jump in. Oh, wait, 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 wait. One last mention before we start. I am playing on PS4 because I'm a scrub. So <laughs> you get the raw PS4 footage. It's uh, the 10th of December. So on release day, I downloaded the all the patches that are out. Now, there was like a day zero patch and a day one patch. 102 gigabytes of Cyberpunk 2077. So that is the, the launch version on the PS4. Uh, normal PS4, not PS4 Pro. So that is what you get and thank you all for joining me let's jump into a new game we got a little bit of the intro in that cinematic that i guess introduced us a little bit to the city which sounded very very intriguing and um that is one of the things that i'm probably most excited about is the world building of this game like what kind of world will we get and uh, i'm very excited to 
find that out. I, I think I uh, said the word exciting about 300 times already. I'm probably saying it a few hundred times more. So here we go. I should also mention that I have seen no footage at all. Like I've seen maybe like a couple of seconds of footage. That's really it. Uh, I didn't see any uh, promotional screenshots or anything. The all I know is that it's a cyberpunk game. It's from CD Projekt Red. That it's first person and that Keanu Reeves is in it. That's that's all. That's that's about it. Like I don't know anything else. So I couldn't be more uninformed, but I like that. I want to explore all of that with all of you and be completely surprised and hopefully pleasantly surprised so we will be playing on normal um let's go with that if it is too easy we can always change that so our character's name that much i uh, saw somewhere is v and i thought a little bit about what kind of character i want to play and uh, i'm sure we will get into that once we get to the deeper character creation um and we could be a nomad roaming the badlands looting scrapyards raiding fuel depots life on the road wasn't easy but growing up in a nomad clan has its perks honesty integrity and a love of freedom qualities that few in night city possess and no amount of money can buy the street kit they say if you want to understand the streets, you got to live them. Gangs, fixers, dolls, small-time pushers, you were raised by them all. Down here, the law of the jungle dictates that the weak serve the strong. The only law in Night City you have yet to break. And then Corpo. Few leave the corporate world with their lives. Few are still with their souls intact. You've been there. You've bent the rules, exploited secrets, and weaponized information. There's no such a thing as a fair game. Only winners and losers. Interesting paths. Select these life paths. Some events and dialogue options in the game will be different depending on your choice. All right. Um, all of them interesting. I'm kind of between Nomad and Street Kid. I think. Not, a, not much of a fan of the corporate world. So... Both could be very interesting. Um, but for the character I had in mind, I think the Street Kid life path is the most fitting. Body type. Select V's body type. V's appearance may sometimes affect the behavior of other characters. Okay. Um, I also thought about that and uh, I decided with this. Here we go. Now the next three hours will be <laughs> character creation. Okay. What do we have here? I'm V. I'm V. I'm V. I'm V. Okay, let's go with a masculine voice tone. Skin tone. I guess we can pick it out from here. Uh, let's see if I can... Okay. A bit of a tan, I like that. Skin type. Uh, maybe this hairstyle. Oh, this will be important. So while while I choose some of the things here, um, maybe may talk about what I had in mind for this character, and I thought about him being kind of a very mistrusting, yet sarcastic and kind of, kind of humorous guy who uh, at the same time just kind of does his own thing trusts no one had a rough rough life now that we uh, chose the um street kid life path i think that is also very fitting kind of growing up on his own battling through life trying to make the best of it Ooh, that is, that is an aggressive. I 
Pets also. Like that that is that looks uh, like we're about to join the Hunger Games. Could be fitting. Oh the okay, okay. <laughs> Let's see what else we have here. Quite a few options which I like. That is uh, a grab that I have with a lot of games. Like, if you add character creation, then at least give me plenty of options. Like, I may not choose all of them, but uh, but the options I want to have. Uh, there, there are a few that I'm interested in. Um, And like I said, I really want to play this one at my own pace, take my time. That looks very corporate. I, I feel like we also need like a haircut that uh, represents our life path a little bit. So a little bit... Okay, so we're, we're back to square one. So I want something a little bit, I don't know, extravagant. I'm not the right word for it. Something out of the ordinary. That's something that stands out and represents our. I mean, that is a that's that's a haircut. I guess something that is not too clean, not too. Not too groomed, I guess. <laughs> um. Do you kind of like that? And I should also say that um, I intend on playing this game in a way where I will make decisions based on how I feel the character would decide, and less so what are the optimum. I think I. Uh, I need a different hairstyle. And, and less so um, based on what I think are the best options for the character. Um, so, I, so I try to um, get some role playing going and I kind of see where it goes, kind of see uh, where that leads. And sometimes that might not be the most... Uh, most advantageous decisions that I take, but fitting to the character. Maybe we go with this. I mean, that's kind of maybe not as crazy. I do want, want then a nice flashy hair color that is fitting. Sorry for losing my train of thought here already on the character creation, but I feel like, ooh, ooh. Ooh, I kind of like that. Like with the... I kind of like that. Okay, okay, that's an option. Multicolored hair. Ooh, that is... I like that. I think we can go with that. But yeah, so... Um... Don't expect me to always pick the right decisions. And let's be honest, I, I wouldn't be able to do that anyway, uh, based on previous playthroughs. So uh, just just go with the flow. That that is really my um, approach here. Um, go with the flow. Go with what I feel like is most fitting for the character. Let's go with eleven. Kind of eye colors do we have? Oh, we can have like what's that? Oh, okay. We can go with some Sauron eyes. That's a question. Do I want like crazy eyes? I want something crazy like this. 
Oh, what's the what's the name of that movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Charles Dance, where where he has kind of like a uh, kind of eyes like that, or one eye like that? I'll go bloodshot eyes. That's that's very neat. Hmm. Do I go with something crazy? I feel like with the eyes, I go with 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 blue now. Not too crazy here. Mm, okay, eyebrows. I can barely see them, so maybe I need to change the color to see them better. Yeah, that's all right. I do want to take my time with it. I also don't want to spend too much time with options that don't really matter. Kind of knows. It's. Let's go with this. That's fine. Looks a little bit like David Beckham right now. Sure. Yeah, why not? Could work. Beard. Okay, here we go. Ooh, we have some proper beers here. I like it. I already like the option that they give us. No beard. No, we definitely need a beard. That face needs a beard. I do kind of like that. It looks a little bit scruffy, but also its style. Also, those are adjustments to that style of beard. Now, the beard color. We also go with like a multicolor beard. It's like a black beard, this. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. A tough decision, important decision. I, I'm sure. Could go more with that. You know, more like a scruffy beard. Cyberware. Oh, I see. Where do we want off? No, I want uh, me a little bit of cyberware. I like, th yeah, I could go with that. Facial scars. Yeah, let's see. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. I kind of like that. I feel like the beard color d doesn't really fit him, right? Like, let's go with the blue. The very blue character, but. Maybe, maybe that's his color. You can always adjust that. And then, okay. Those are tattoo options. Ooh. Say the sin. Okay, that, that's that's aggressive. That that is also aggressive. That would indicate that we are a reptile or a venom cosplayer.
Hmm. I mean, on one hand, I kind of would like to for him to have some tattoos, but maybe, maybe not these ones. Piercings. Okay, here we go. We definitely need some piercings. If we don't have tattoos, we definitely need some piercings. Mm. I think this could work. 11. Let's look at the other ones. Okay. Your piercing. But mm. okay, eleven or fourteen. Let's, let's keep the options in mind. Piercing song. Okay, let's see. Look at eleven again. Yeah, I think it, it'll it'll fit him to have a little more metal on his face. Go for like a goldish, red, pink black let's go with black why not yeah, there's some, some good tea Ooh, they are very shiny they're not so shiny some rat chompers now nah, let's go with the standard teeth I make them Ooh. Should have watched a makeup tutorial. Hmm. Kinda like it. A little bit of a I almost prefer this one. Let's see. Oh, very Go with black. I think this could actually work, right? Let's see what, what we have in terms of colors. We go with the blue there as well. That's very glossy. I don't want to overdo it with the makeup, but I do want to kind of create a character that has some actual character that looks that stands out let's go with that i'm not quite sure about the lip makeup yet don't think we need cheek makeup blemishes i don't see any nails Ooh. I maybe correct me if I'm wrong, but I cannot remember a game where you had customizable nails. Can you maybe if maybe you can let me know in the comments below if you can remember a game where you could actually customize your fingernails. Like something dark would fit him. Ooh, that's very glossy. Okay, what about the Guy Fieri nails? I feel like a darker color would fit. We well, do want him to be a little uh, extravagant and... Um... stand out I, I don't think at least for the character i have in mind something super flashy really fits nipples on off can turn nipples off now we keep the nipples body tattoos here we go okay Ooh, snake 
Okay. What? Oh, those are the options. Okay. Hmm. I don't think I can actually zoom in. Does that look good? I mean, it could look good. Uh, I mean, this... Oh, I didn't see the ram's hat on the back. Would have gone with a snake, but... Well, there... Not a fact. Like, I feel like with those tattoos, with all of them so far, I like parts of it, and then others bother me. Like for this one, I kind of like this one. It also fits kind of this color scheme of our character so far. But then, like, the chest piece doesn't really fit. More of a random assortment of. And we go without tattoos. Maybe we can add tattoos later. Oh, I think that was on the chest. I mean, I don't see it really, so it can't be that bad, right? Genitals on off. Oh, penis. More penis. Oh, okay. Oh, we can. Oh, okay. We can. We can get down and dirty completely. Okay. Well, let's go with penis too. <laughs> go with a with an average penis. Oh, well, we could have a look. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that is also a first for me. Oh, do we do we want like? I mean, that looks like it's molding. So <laughs> let me not go with that. Okay, that's the first for me. Having having uh, pubic hair customization. I don't mind. Okay, I like it. That only took me like what? 20 minutes? That's not too bad. Character skills. Each attribute contains a set of skills. Both attributes and skills provide different bonuses depending on your style of play. Skill level increase as you perform activities associated with them. Oh. The maximum level of a skill is limited by the level of the attribute that belongs to. Body. Body determines your physical power in addition to allowing you to force open doors. Each level of body, starting from level 3, will add 5 health points, add stamina points, increase damage with fists and gorilla arms, increase damage with melee weapons, decrease movement penalty while grabbing on an enemy and wielding an HMG. No idea what these means. Increased movement while grappling an enemy and enemy grapple duration by 5%. Intelligence. Intelligence determines your net running proficiency. Every level of intelligence will increase cyber deck RAM capacity by 4%. Increase quick hack damage. I don't know what these mean. Reflexes. Reflex determine your maneuverability in addition to increasing your overall movement speed. Each level and reflexes will increase your passive evasion from Enemy attacks by 1%, increase critical hit chance by 1%, increase damage from Mantis Blades by 3. Technical Ability. Technical Ability represents your technical know how, it allows you to unlock doors and use tech weapons. Each increase in level will increase your armor by 5%. Then we have Cool. Cool determines your resilience, composure, and effectiveness in operating from stealth. Each level of cool will increase critical damage by 2%, increase all resistance by 1%, increase stealth damage by 10%, reduce... Ooh, I kind of would like a stealthy character. So we have 7 points available. So what feel, I feel like... like 
I don't think we will go much of a strength route here. I think we're more of a witty, skinny boy. So I think we'll go with the some stealth attributes here. Let's go to five there, maybe. Let's go with a five intelligence. Mm, mm. Let's go with a. Uh, let's go with cool. I thought about maybe tactical ability. Ah, oh, knocking doors would be nice. That will that will drive me crazy when I have locked doors that I can't open. But but we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Okay, here we go. That's that's our V. Excited. Let's go. Confirm. Here we go. If you have suggestions for his actual name, leave me in, uh, leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear them. I have some ideas as well, and I will reveal that in the second episode. But maybe, maybe you can uh, let me let me know. What do you think would be fitting for for our character, especially now that you've seen it? I I thought about uh, some names. I wasn't sure if we may be able to come up with some names, um, but it's fine. We we were just V, and uh, maybe you have some cool ideas. Also, let me know your thoughts and feelings about the game so far. Obviously, no spoilers, but uh, what are your first impressions of Cyberpunk 2077? What's your experience with it so far? And uh, what type of character did you create? A little anesthesia. Oh, we have a broken nose? Well, you. Yeah, that's that's. Do it, jump. Let's set the broken nose. Oh, motherfucker! Everything chill, mano. Some bastard tried to mug me. I handled it. Oh. Local guy. You really think somebody local will try to mug me, Pepe? Listen, V. I got a problem. Serious this time. Okay. Got trouble? Find yourself a hole, sounds like. You need help. Uh, no, I could count on you. It's a uh, cork. I owe him. Don't pay by tomorrow, said he'd bust my legs. And he don't joke about that stuff. Got cartels in his corner. You in it with Kirk? Every man, woman, and rat in Haywood knows he's a fucking shark. My bro jumped the joint. Deserve the hero's welcome. I know I fuck up, V. Mmm, Stan. Talk to Kurt. You ever gonna learn? <laughs> You ever gonna get wise, Pepe? Please tell me your brother's doing all right. Uh, doing his thing, you know. So, can you help? Sure, I'll, I'll talk, talk to Kirk. To Kirk, but then you're gonna owe me one. Ooh, look at this! Welcome to Cyberpunk 2077. First time in the city. Pay close attention to the tutorials to learn about the basic mechanics of the game. Or if you're ready, an experience, uh, or if you're already an experienced edge runner, feel free to disable hints. Go to the database at any time during the game to access tutorials as well as to read up on the most important topics of Cyberpunk 2077. You're saving my life, Truly. Okay. Let's look around a little bit. What are these guys doing here? Go back to where you came from. Jeez. That's not very nice. Taste the love. Okay. Who 
look at this. Kind of, kind of hypnotic. Okay, find Kirk on the second floor. You want to look around a little bit. What are these guys doing here? No, it's dry. All dry. No, nope. don't got that neither. I don't know. Who are you? Them Colombians, maybe. Right. Right. Burrito XXL. It's big. I want a burrito. What are you guys doing here? Javi's got some broken ribs, but praise Jesus, the bullet didn't hit any organs. What happened? A police manhunt. They were What's chasing that? some Take people. read. So he read. had it coming, eh? Vote for Perales, a no holds barred candidate with an entrepreneurial flair. What am I fighting for? An end to mega corporate influence on Night City politics. Naysayers be damned. We can do it. All I say is a token of your support to run a campaign without corporate funding. Together we can win these elections. If I win, you win. What do you get in return? A truly independent city and an end to mega corporate rule. Oh, an end to mega corporate rule, an end to making decisions that affect the city and its people from behind the ma mahogany desks of board members that have never set foot on the streets of Watson or Pacifica. Equal opportunities for everyone and access to education. During my first year in office, I pledged to create 20 full and 30 partial scholarships with the eventual aim of funding the education of the 200 most gifted students every year. He was okay. just standing so it's like a political standing, campaign of sorts. NCPD peaks were shooting everyone. He don't deal, never has. Having brown skin. Hey, where are you? You uh, want something, Chum? I don't know. Oh, what? We can play. Uh, what? Use? What did I do? Hello. Look down the bar. Oh. So that's Kirk. Who are you? Hey, Kirk. Want to talk? V. Been a while? Spin it. What you need? Oh, let's a, a talk about Pepe paper. asked me to talk you up. What, he too shot a hand over the Yetis himself? Uh, tell him I don't fight. Not yet. What's your deal? That was your problem. Okay. Have a nice meal, buddy. Cut him a break. Cut him some slack, will you? You pay. Just need some more time. Do I look like a priest that runs a charity to you? You borrow Eddie's. You gotta pay him back. With interest, it's common fucking knowledge. You suggesting I let a flaky cunt who can't keep a deal off the hook? No, you let him off because it's me asking. Huh, you know me. I'm a man of the bids. So I need to know what I get out of it. You have a trouble? You know what, Kirk? I sometimes get the impression you forget you aren't from around here. Pop in Haywood for the occasional visit, sure. You live far, far away in Pacifica. What are you getting at? Getting at? You probably need to think before you start something with the local sun. Hmm. I'm open to other options. This now. What's this? 
What's this? Grab a look. Mm hmm. Cream ride there on the page. Only four of them in NC as of now. One, Rayfield Regional Director. Two, Mayor Ryan. Three, a rental service. Okay. Oh, and four. Number four will belong to my client. Just as soon as you clap it for me. Oh, uh, I see. I do this in the data spade. I do this, and Pepe's debt is squared. Of course. I'm a man of my word. You know that. Whole thing simple. You swipe the Rayfield for me, I clear Pepe's account. Even toss in a cut for you, I'm such a nice guy. My man Rick works a parking structure by Embers, a club where our Rayfield driver likes to kick it. There every Friday night, like clockwork. As soon as you appear, security cam shut down, gate swings up, the road is yours. Just gotta grab the Rayfield and roll out. Simple. Okay. Honestly, should plan. Plan sounds shaky as fuck. <laughs> oh, how so? Sounds like you're looking for a sucker. This ain't no setup, V. Heard you got a good head. Maybe we help each other make a few eddies. Hmm. What do you think? Oh. Does he stop eating? Kind of in a rush here. Okay, okay, okay. And your man, Rick? And your man, Rick? Trust him like my own brother. Hmm. Do you trust your brother? <laughs> Who owns the ride? Who's the owner? Just an Arasaka suit from across the water. Spews cash out of every hole in his body. And his name? How would I know? Why would I care? It's a hot item and I know where to find it. Okay. I wonder now if you pick a different life path if you start at a different point in a different region, maybe? Kinda in a rush here. How am I supposed to do this? Expect me to slide under the chassis on a skateboard for a quick hot wire? Fast and easy? Kirk, wheels like this got security systems. Good ones. This bitty bop works like the key Rayfield techs use for repairs. Opens locks, bypasses identity authorization. Okay. A skeleton key for all Rayfields in the city. <laughs> Come on, Kirk. Even you don't buy that. Kabuki's tech wizards sell more magical shit than this under the counter. Have a little faith. So, we all agreed then. Uh. Pick advice and stand. Well, I agree. We are. Glad to hear it. Always said you were a bright bulb. Thanks. Head to Embers in the Glen. Rick's in the garage. Be waiting for you. Embers you in the Glen. Off. Okay, now we have a we'll be in giant mini map at the back. Okay, it's not that giant. I want that burg. Burger actually didn't look bad. Oh, there's something glowing. Drink menu. What do we have here? Yente Dorado. Mezcal, bourbon, lime, dark chocolate, gold flakes. Santa Cecilia. Flor de Muertos. Compa de Haywood. Quinceañera. Okay. I'll take all of them. Can I get this? Oh. Okay, let's go back down. Or is there anything else here? I'm gonna go this way. So let's check out this corner. Nah, Perales is different. Dude, what did you do here? You shit on ground? Soon as he's elected, corps are gonna start sweating bullets. Yeah, yeah. I'll believe it when I see it. Oh there. Applies the hydration status. Okay. Take. Hair wax. Um, for our fabulous hair, we can always use some hair wax. Okay, let's go. Malone ain't getting a milk fight. Oh, this is the door they fixed. Hey. 
the carts. You'll see. A Japanese dude? A boxer? I can afford. Please. Kano's got the best beat. Money's Can't got nothing to do with it. Exactly. Fresh air. Fat ass motherfucker. Hey, why do I see no goddamn lemons? What no happened goddamn here? limes? They're in there for sure. What are you doing there? Are you still from the trash? Ooh, I can jump. Got a seg. Uh, rough night. <laughs> Sorry. Slow night. Oh, don't even start. I'm not gonna make the rent this month. I don't want to even think about my brat's school fees. We met before. Don't recognize you. I just asked for a smoke. Jesus. I wanted to have some small talk. Excuse me. Nice tattoo you have there. I like the how um, she... Or how we got into that dialogue very organically. It didn't click anything. So, Just standing in front of her. What started this? talking. I can pay it. You okay? No. Oof. Spare a veteran some change. Sure. Here. All yours. Two hundred and ninety nine left. God bless. I'll really read that sign. Cybernetic God comes to the Baron's children. Talk to the people in Santo. Tell them to be ready. Stay on here. Yes, Padre. Well, Look who padre. do we have here? That's me. We? Long time. Didn't know you were around. Body and oh, there was a body in the trunk. Maybe it hasn't changed yeah. a bit. No place like home. Uh, you haven't changed a bit. Sebastian and Barra haven't changed a smidge. No one calls me by my name anymore. Almost forgotten how it sounds. How are things, Padre? The same. Haywood. Nothing ever changes here. I'd rather hear about you. Got back from Atlanta a few weeks ago. See you got a good down-home welcome. How was it back east? Tell you later. Got something on my plate. How about you fill me in now? We'll give you a ride. Okay. Marcus, let's go. Do we have to? He sounds shady. <laughs> but then again, everyone sounds shady here. That is Night City. I play basketball. Kick it. Okay. Gathias. So where to? The Glen. Drop me off at Embers. Front door? Take the ramp back of the bar. Show you where to stop. You heard it, Marcus. Thank you, Marcus. Your return to NC has been good. Busy already? Ah, getting by. Ah, pick up something here and there. Nothing major. But I'm getting by. Appreciate the concern. So, Atlanta didn't turn out like you expected, huh? Hmm, apparently not, but let's just go with kind of like a... Eh, went without expectations. Went there without expectations, actually. Well, except that it'd be better than here. It wasn't. Maybe it'll all work out for the best. Maybe. This guy reminds me kind of the Crooked Man and the Wolf Among Us. Shit. I just like to... what? I want to watch out of, out of the window. Here's a gun. Stop the car. That's quite rude. What's going on? Business. You carry? Guess we got into a fight. Sir. 
Sebastian Ibarra. Okay. It looks like it's my lucky day. What do hey, you Chrome want? Dome. To settle our biz once and for all. Got an offer for you, Patty, so listen up. Get the fuck out of Vista. Pull your boys off the street. I'll give you the Glen. Done deal. No more restless nights. See how generous I can be. Well, Patty. Got any idea who you're talking to? One more fucking word. Stay out of this. I don't know you. And I don't know you, which means you're worth shit around here and capable of even less. Well, anything else? It seems our conversation has come to a close. Careful, got him. Andre. Never know who's got a barrel at your six. You neither, shit bucket. Marcus, please. Thank you, Marcus. Yeah. Yeah, what you looking at? What you looking at? That went well. I am pleased to see you have not forgotten your roots. Still have to keep them. Thanks. So many of the little shits left around here. Their spines go soft when they look down a barrel. Who was that? Who was that? No one important. He'll be gone in a week's time. Another will come in his place. He pulled iron on you. He did. And he will pay for doing so. Okay. Can Marcus well, just drive me around the right entire here. I'll time? I'll just drop down below. Just look out, out of the window. Here, before you go. Uh, what? Your number could be useful. Maybe we okay. can also work together again. Take ourselves back two years. Thanks, Padre. Yeah, maybe. Gotta go. Gotta Thanks, go. Marcus. So go with God. Cool. I'll be damned. What? Never seen a man jump down in front of you? Huh? Wanna fight? I want that bathroom, honestly. Okay. Out in the city. I'm excited. What you up to? Uh, hey. How's you going? have your arm in your thigh. Is that healthy? Ooh. And I can... Huh. I can get a burrito? I want a burrito. Hey, I can't uh, spare that money. I know you? Ooh, I've got a burrito! Got a burrito! Nice! Best game ever. Did you just see that? Yes. I got a burrito! What's up? Got a burrito, dude. What about you? Did you got a burrito? Or you have a fedora? Well, you go back to your frat party. Avenus Classic. Reduces movement speed by 10%, accuracy by 50%. Sounds useful. We'll take it. Oh, fuck. What? Corpro thieves must die. Got him. You don't belong Good one. here. What? That's quite rude. He will, okay, enjoy. I just spent all my money on food. Kumquat. Kumquat. Great. Uh, parking. Please go down. Oh. V? Gotta call. Status. On my way. About to find your man. Rick's one of the good guys, you'll see. I trust him like a brother. Yeah, so you said. I find Rick optional, okay. I have a feeling we might get into trouble here. Open this? No. Hello? Yeah. 
Something I can help you with. Hey. You Rick? You Rick? Yep. You with Kirk? Yep. Camera's blind. You got 20 minutes. Thanks. Can we run? Oh, I can run. Find Kirk. the riff. I see the ride. Ooh. Your moment to shine. Got it. Though. Good luck. Hack lock. Let's give it a shot. Let's take this piece of wonder tech for a whirl. You're a man of little faith. See? Ooh. We're rich. Now fire her up and call me when you're underway. I'll tell you where to go. Hmm. Looks like this will be a cool breeze. I'm sure there won't be any issues. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, hi. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Get the fuck uh... out. Oh, that's not good. Wow. Fuck. You can drive. Now out. What? Okay. It was worth a try. Chingalos. That's Been Jackie. While, huh? Inspector Stitz. <sighs> Same shit. Speaking of, your mug's familiar too. Come on, spit it out. I'm waiting. Left for Atlanta. Looking for a slice of happiness. Oh. Guess you didn't. Maybe I was too slow. I've always maintained it's the same for all you termites in Haywood. Born here. Live here, die here. Looks like I was right. Rat got your tongue? You know. Fuck, fuck all, all about, about me. me. Truth hurts, huh? Just watch your tone. I'm not a patient man. Come on, Stintz. Give us a break, huh? You lock us up, let's just jerk off till trial. And then what? Worst case, we get some months. Standing room only nowadays in El Bote. So, they'll probably be out early. Are these the thieves? Fucking oh, street trash. Who's that Got guy? I'm in custody, Mr. Fujioka. We'll be taking him. Spock me. It's a Who's waste Spock of effort. Best? I have no time to testify or play in an investigation. Suggesting we let him go, sir? I suggest you toss them in the sea. Cufflinks broken, so this trash doesn't float. Okay, um, can we negotiate those you terms? Fuck. Uh oh, that'll probably hurt. Ouch. End of the game. Motherfucker. Ugh. Ouch. It, did we have to fix our nose again? <laughs> Honestly, for a sec there, things looked iffy. Wasn't sure we'd worm out of that alive. Ah, same here. <laughs> and same. Wasn't sure either. Stints is out to get people. Wound tight. Well, he does have a little honor left. Really think his sense of honor saved us? Well, and the fact he's Haywood born and bred like us. If I hadn't come, you'd be cruising Night City in sexy wheels right now. Hmm. Yeah, unlikely would have worked anyway. Ah, come on. Job was toxic from the start. Even Kabuki under the counter magic can't get around an alarm like that. Should have known I'd have the PD on my ass. 
So, maybe now, as God ordained. Jackie Wells. V. I know you. You hang at the Coyote. Yeah, it was actually where I got the job. Got the job to steal those wheels at the Coyote. From Kirk. You work with that sewer slug? Pepe wasn't big and can't afford to pay, so I stepped up. Man, gotta wonder about Pepe letting slimy Kirk boss him around like that. Heard what they say. He's backed by cartels. Cartels? No, no, listen. I know those cartel types, and I guarantee you, none of them have even heard of Kirk. El cabrón's gotta learn. He don't do people in Haywood dirty. Come on. Let's go have some lunch. Lunch? Sounds good. Lunch? <laughs> you would not believe my mama's chili. Best in town. Okay, I'm sold. Getting one of my good feelings. About what? About us. It's a kind of chemistry, you know? Okay. Come on. I'm fucking starved. Yeah, me too. Okay. Food it is. Let's go. Oof. That was a rough, rough job, but we survived, barely. Another day ahead of us in this city of dreams. Ooh, I love this town. Love it like you might love a mother. His mother? Popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her. Every new day here means a hundred new arrivals. But only half these gods will survive a year. And that's if it's a good one. And why do these people oh, I guess we're working together now. Well, to be street samurai like Morgan. Hand and Waylon Boa Boa. The greater the risk, the bigger the bounty, kids. Or so they say. But you can only be a major league player for so long. The faster you live, the faster you burn out. If you don't get a bullet Ouch. to the brain first. Ow. Do we have to fix our nose again? <laughs> That's a bunch of guns. Matters not where you're from. Matters not where you start. What matters here is the walk you walk. In Night City. The city of dreams. So we became best buddies. That's nice. Chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that killed Half a year later, okay. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militic okay. training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Oh. Down for some target practice in VR? How did you get that? Militech. Jack, we're talking classified military grade shit here. How'd you get it? T-Bug and our girl made a couple adjustments. Why? Think she knows better? Nah. Said it didn't suit her uh, style. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Okay, sure. A little warm out can't hurt, but we will do that next time. That was the first episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Thank you all well, for watching today's episode. Uh, oh, maybe I have to hurry up. So... <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, if you enjoyed it, please give the video a like. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Share the video with friends, family, and the people on the internet. If you want to go above and beyond with your support, you can check out the Patreon link down below. And you can be sure that I will be back with Cyberpunk 2077 tomorrow. Until then, have a great time.